What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a very different version of As the Camper Rolls. Today, we are selling our Coachman Apex 300 BHS. It has been an amazing rig to us, but now it's time to go on to somebody else. We're moving into something else, but we'll uh, give you that news a little later. For now, let's give you a tour of the 300 BHS. All right, in the front, we have the dual propane packs. We have propane tanks. We have the auto uh, automatic jack with the up and down button and also the light in the front that helps illuminate things if you are hooking up in the dark. Right here, we have the Husky centerline hitch that provides four point anti sway as well as a weight distribution hitch. Right behind there, we have the battery and on here, we upgraded to a 100 milliamp our um, EGM battery. So it is a upgraded battery, high capacity. Uh, it is in the basement for the winter. We don't ever store it outside and it is only one year old. Right here, we have a pass-through storage compartment that goes all the way through to the other side. All LED lights on the outsides, as far as our marker lights and turn signals, as well as inside throughout the coach. We have Asdell, Ooh, slippery ice. We have Asdell sides. Asdell sides, if you haven't read up on them, are amazing. They are probably, I, I, I would say, the best in the industry as far as um, resistance to any damage from water, etc. We have two slides, one in the rear bunkhouse back in the back, and then another one that is the slide for the couch inside and the uh, kitchen area. So we'll see that once we get on the inside. We have a fiberglass nose cap that is molded. We also have these two lights here, which turn blue and are nice LED lights at night so you don't hit your shins on the ever famous, or should I say infamous, uh, trailer hitch. Plus they make it look very cool at night, almost like a smile or maybe the eyes of an angry giant. I don't know, you make it up, it's yours to decide. This is the other side of that patch, patch, pass through bay. This has the slam locks, this is an upgrade, they are lockable, uh, but when you have one hand, you can lift it up and that magnet right there catches and it just holds it up automatically. When it's time to close it, you don't have to worry about locking it, you just drop it and it closes. Awesome. Right here we have input for solar. You can hook up your own solar panels to it. We have some uh, added leveling things here. Um, we don't use those though because we have the Levelmate Pro along with the Anderson uh, leveling blocks that works awesome for that. We have the automatic power awning, um, which is great for keeping the sun out, keeping the shade in there, or also hang, hiding out under the awning during a rainy day. It is an 18 foot awning, which is awesome because we can fit the picnic table, we can put our bikes under there and still have room to move around, keep our shoes there without any worries. Outside we have hookups for a TV here. Uh, we have a power outlet and also the cable hookup. So if you wanna watch the game, you can throw it on a table. You could also put a mount there if you wanted to. Now this unit does not have the newer style of windows. It has the older style of windows. I actually prefer the older style of windows because it opens all the way across, leaving you all of this space for air to flow through and the same thing on the other side. We also have that same sliding window right here under the, the massive, massive uh, window in front of the dinette. And so you have that uh, good airflow all the way through the rig as compared to the newer style that just tips out and uh, doesn't necessarily offer that much airflow. Up there, we have two speakers with LED lights built in. We also have the step down here that has an LED light under there. That you can keep on all night long. And the awning also has a strip of lights that goes underneath. A nice blue tint to match the blue hue everywhere else. Um, and the it is visible whether your awning is open or closed because you don't want to have the, wind, the, the awning open during high winds or if you have a storm in the, in the um, forecast. Right here's, here's the outside uh, kitchen. We love using the outdoor kitchen. We have the Coleman grill that tucks away nicely and slides into the uh, little bay there. There is a drawer here and a tip out here. We even actually removed the little blockers there so that we could uh, keep some rolls of tin foil, etc. behind there. We have a paper to towel rack right above our adult beverage uh, distribution center. We have a magnet here with all kinds of <laughs> tools for cookware. <clears throat> we keep our uh, trash can and recycling can right on top. They're collapsible, um, but you don't have to do that inside of our fridge. And our fridge is the bigger style that holds lots and lots of beverages. So you can fit not only beverages for you, but also for your kids. Over here, we have a 
electric griddle that actually fits perfectly right on the slide for the grill. All we have to do is pick that up, remove it, and put the griddle there. Works perfectly. And when you're done with it, you just close it up and slide it inside and close the door and you're done. We have upgraded all the leveling jacks to a 7,500 pound uh, leveling jack. Now the, the whole camper loaded complete is 7,600 pound gross. So if these are 7,600 or 7,500 pounds a piece, they're gonna do a great job with holding things stable, much more so than the uh, stock ones that came on it. We also added this. Now this alone is not okay to run on most campers, including this one, because it's just welded to the I-beam frame here. Now, they do make a kit though, safetystruts.com, that bolts right to your frame and provides extra support to that bumper so that it won't twist and break those welds right off of there. So we've added those. We've also added this magnetic cap here that has your sewer hose connected right there. It caps that end, keeping any debris from inside from coming out. There's also a cap at the far end that keeps debris from running out that end. Completely sealed, completely contained, not in the bay of your storage compartment, causing all your other things to get stinked up. Back here, we also have an outdoor shower. It has hot and cold water. I don't have the key right now, but it opens up and pops right there so that you have access to that. Now, we usually put a little rubber mat down on the ground. The kids come in from the beach, they wash off all the sand before they go into the camper and bring that into your rig. We also have the propane tanks off right now, but I will show you that we had it added these uh, gauges to the propane tanks with a uh, steel braided hose that will not dry rot um, and provide you with a visual indicator of how much propane you have left so that you know when it's time to go refill before you actually run out in the middle of a cold fall night. We are running on all aluminum rims. They have greasable wet bearings in there. I also upgraded the shackles back here to be greasable and wet. Um, that is a big upgrade. If you haven't done that, I would suggest doing that because that keeps them from uh, having issues down the road. We also have brand new Carlisle Trail tires put on last season and have plenty of tread left in them. The underbelly is all completely sealed and heated so that on those cold evenings, you don't have frozen pipes. Over here we have all our connections. It is a 30 amp service with one single uh, air conditioner, which is nice. We have our sewer connection. This does have a black tank flush. Now black tank flush is nice because it has a little sprinkler system that goes around inside your black tank and rinses out all the solid debris so that it doesn't get built up in there. We also have your connection for your satellite and cable over here and access to your hot water tank as well as the back of your fridge. Right below all of this, tucked between your slides, not under one of them. Some companies don't pay attention to that and they put it under, making it really hard to get to. We also only have one valve here. Some make you run multiple lines for multiple tanks. We do have one black tank, one gray tank. Everything in the rig runs to one of those two tanks that you can empty here. All right, going into the rig. First off, this window usually is not tinted. Usually it is a fogged window that you cannot see through. The window also has a pull down shade that allows you to block it out if you don't want the light or if you don't want people to see in at night when you have things lit up and it's dark outside. The nice part about this addition is when somebody comes come to your door and knocks or if you just want to look outside because you heard a noise, you have the ability to do that instead of trying to look through other windows. We also put on this um, RV lock which is a nice addition. You can just type in your passcode here, or there are multiple key fobs that you can also have. We actually have four of them um, so that you're able to just use that every time you go in and out of your rig to get in and out without having to worry about locking or forgetting your keys. Immediately when you come in, you notice we have added these shoe containers. Now, most rigs don't have anywhere to put your shoes on in when you come inside the door. Now, we have three kids. We also have two of us adults and we need somewhere to put our shoes. And if you're anything like my wife, you have multiple pairs of shoes that you need to keep for different outfits. Even if you're going to the beach, you need a different color flip flops to match your different color bathing suits, right? You got room for them all right here. The other nice thing is the heat vent is right down here at the bottom underneath this one. So the heat blows right out and dries off any wet shoes after a race, rainy day or a rainy hike in the, in the mud. Also right in when you come in the door are all of your controls. Now you have control for your main slot, you have your awning control, 
you have an entryway light so that you don't have to be searching for the um, switch when you come in the door. You have a curbside, which is your the lights in those speakers. You have the galley light, which is a nice accent light up here. You can leave that on all night. It's LED, so it's not gonna drain your batteries too much. We also have the light under the step. So that again, if you wanna sit in the dark and not have the bugs bothering you, you can have your step light on so you know where the door is and don't trip. And then we have your awning lights again when you need a little bit more. The also, we have uh, accent lighting under the entertainment center here, which shines it down and provides a nice accent there. Your entertainment center is awesome. It is uh, has indoor and outdoor speakers. It is Bluetooth. You can connect all your devices to it and play it through there. Uh, it'll play your CDs, DVDs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, the TV is nice because you only need one TV, even when you're inside the living room and you know having a a movie night on your couch. This also folds out into a flat bed. Um, and sometimes we'll do that for the movie night. We'll put that flat and a couple of kids will lay over here and we'll drop the dinette down to a bed as well. And a couple of people will lay over here so that you're all able to see this and watch with, again, the surround sound of the stereo system. Now, the cool thing about this is, boom, it turns right around so that at night when mom and dad are in the bedroom, they can watch TV while the kids are sleeping back there in the bunkhouse. Right here, we have our charging ports. These charge no matter whether you're connected to power or not. This will charge right after your battery. Now that's awesome for dry camping uh, situations when you don't have power hookups because you have an ability to charge your phone without running to your car for a couple hours each day. If we look at this unit here as a whole where the, the entertainment system is, we have massive amounts of storage here, messy storage right here right now, uh, storage up here, storage all down through here, storage all down through here, storage up, up, up in that glass lit area, and also storage on the backside that I'll show you in a minute. We added a couple of hooks here from a broom and dustpan to keep things clean. We also added this fishing rod holder here along with a couple of coat hooks there. We have the hooks over here for your keys and hooks inside the bedroom to hang your bathrobe or your uh, nightwear, etc., on both sides of the bed. Again, I mentioned that storage on the back side of this. You do have a nice compartment right here as well as a big wardrobe here. Lots and lots of uh, shelving space up here. We type, like to use these storage bins um, that go, again, all the way across that top area. Inside, you have hanging space, but we also added some shelving in the back to be able to separate your clothes a little bit and take advantage of that space. The other addition is these awesome add-on magnetic lights. They are rechargeable and motion sensor. So anytime you open the closet, it automatically will pop on. When you close it, it'll turn off after just a few minutes. Over here, we have more of those charging parts that port, ports that uh, work off of your battery and a nice shelf to put it on along with a uh, bedroom night light that works as a reading light as well and is dimmable. You have another light here that you can reach right from the comfort of your bed and another one there. This is an air conditioning vent here keeping you nice and cool at night, but you also have this nice vent overhead to look up at the stars at night as well. I mentioned the nice big windows that open all the way so that you can have lots and lots of cool breeze flowing through. Under the bed, there is lots of storage down here. We keep oh, our uh, ladder, life jackets, extra blankets, etc. The point is there is tons and tons and tons of storage in this rig. This whole cabinet is a pass-through cabinet. It allows you to put all your glassware, whatever you uh, want to keep up here, you can. Uh, we also added, this is what our, we uh, call our coffee cabinet because the coffee maker goes right here and plugs in up to the, in the outlet up there. But one level was not enough and this was all wasted space. So we put in another shelf. If you don't like it, just remove it. It's not screwed in. It is simply pressure fit in there and uh, will not fall down. We have our microwave oven, which has lots of different settings. Uh, works just great. You also have an exhaust fan to keep all of those nasty things out of here if you're cooking something and end up burning something. And you have your light here to keep things well lit, as well as another light under here with your paper towel holder. We have an extendable faucet here with two spray modes and your hot and cold there. The pink in there is from winterization and will go away as soon as you put water in here again. This cabinet above the sink, very deep, lots of storage space. It's where we keep our bread, 
spices, cooking oils, etc. When we travel, the mat for out front goes right here. Again, it's an 18 foot mat and helps keep your feet dry and keeps all the dirt outside of the rig. Down here, we have our circuit breaker for all of the electrical needs. If something trips, uh, we go right in here. Right now we have our water heater shut off. Everything else is on. Over here is a massive, massive storage area that goes the whole length of the seat here and provides you lots of uh, additional storage there. Again, like I mentioned, the, the table drops down and the cushions fold in, uh, move in to make a bed there. We also have a little serving tray that we keep back there underneath so that we can bring things easily out to the picnic table. Up top, this is where all of our snacks are. We keep our snacks up here, chips, um, things like that. Easily accessible for the kids just because they stand on the, the seats there and are able to reach them. We have three drawers here for the kitchen space. We also have this big storage area underneath for uh, some bigger items. We have a nice um, oven here. We have a pizza stone in there now that actually we keep in there even when we're not using it uh, because it helps distribute the heat a little more evenly and keep the things, whatever you're cooking right here from burning. Um, a lot of these RV ovens have that issue and so we found that's a good fix. This cabinet down here is huge. This is where we keep our ca uh, coffee maker when we travel, the things that we don't need as frequently, uh, toaster oven down there, things like that. In the bathroom, we have a nice stand-up shower. We have the Oxygenics, uh, nice high pressure, um, but also water saving. You have a little valve here that you just turn off when you're you know, all soaped up and you need to scrub down. When you turn the, want to turn the water back on to rinse, you just push that. You don't have to mess with the valves down here and figuring out where your right temperature is. There's a nice skylight above that helps provide some natural light. And the uh, drain there, we have this, just in case the little ones need to take a little tub and uh, relax. We also have our toothbrush holders. We have these awesome uh, night lights that if you, well, I can't get it dark enough, but when it's dark, they automatically turn on. There you go. If I cover up the sensor there, it turns on. Uh, we have those throughout the rig, uh, which really helps keep the uh, rig lit up at night so that the kids are able to navigate if they need to go to the restroom. Now, nice thing about this is most of the lights up here is where the switch is. And this one has a switch there, but it also has a switch down here. And that switch allows them to turn on the uh, light at night when they have to go to the bathroom without the use of our help. Um, here's all of your black and gray and, and battery testers. Um, so you can see where your levels are. Uh, it's also where your pump is. I'm not gonna turn it on right now. And the switch for your hot water heater. Underneath here, we have storage as well and uh, shell, two shelves for storage there as well. Moving our way back, we have the refrigerator. The refrigerator is the propane and electric model, which is great. You can switch back and forth between the two or have it switch automatically. What this allows you to do is keep it on even when you're not hooked up to power. So you put stuff in, turn it on, you're good to go. Down here, we have the panel off right now, but this is our hot water tank and those are all the valves already preset for winterizing your rig. We also have a winterizing kit in it that is uh, located in the bunkhouse. And this valve right here allows you to shut it off um, and switch over to the hose right here and suck up your antifreeze into your rig, making it so you don't have to fill your entire freshwater tank with um, the antifreeze. All you do is use this line to suck it right in from the jug and then you're good to go. In the summertime, you switch it right back and run fresh water through it and you're ready to rock. That's located right inside this drawer here. So it's easily accessible. No unscrewing panels or anything like that. In the bunkhouse, we have three drawers right here. We have three shelves right here, very, very deep and allows us to have a couple of these per kid so that they can uh, keep their clothes nice and neat and organized. I don't know. That's how, that's supposed to be how it works, but I think those words and boys don't really align. Got some additional hooks here to hang things. This closet right here is amazing. It's supposed to be for hanging stuff. We don't hang stuff. We got extra sleeping bags. We got tackle boxes. We got toys and bins and backpacks, but we also will throw our inflatable kayaks in here, our inflatable stand-up paddle boards in here. It's that big. 
right here is our bookshelf. All the kids keep their books here. We also have a little mat that they can put together. It's like a puzzle mat that they put on the floor right in their bunkhouse and are able to uh, play cards in their bunkhouse. The bunkhouse itself is pretty huge. Now the slide for the bunkhouse is controlled right outside the bunkhouse so that you can see as you're sliding the slide in, make sure that there's nothing that's uh, you know left on the floor that you're gonna cover up or hit. Um, and that's great, it was well thought out. It's not on the front there with the other one so that you can be right here and be looking. It has this nice sliding door that closes. It is solid wood. Well, not solid wood, but it is wood so that it keeps out some of the sound as composed to uh, some of the others that are just a curtain. Now, we have two bunks over here and one bunk over here, but this sleeps four because notice it's a double thick mattress there. One of them slides off, goes right on the floor here, and then you have a bed here and a bed here. Also, when it's in couch mode, these two cushions right here are against that backside, making it in couch mode. This whole thing, when it doesn't have the guardrail on there, flips up and has hydraulic assistance to help you keep it up and as well as make it easier to pick up. We have a window right there. We have a window for this kid and on that top bunk over there for that kid. So all three kids get to have windows. Even the one on the floor has the window out the back. <sighs> Let me tell you, a lot of the times the nice views are out this back window and the kids end up with the amazing views instead of the adults. It's kind of annoying. That's it, that's the tour of our rig. We have uh, some surprises for you coming up as far as what we got into or what we're trying to get into if this sells. If you're interested in this rig and would like to make this your new home on wheels, feel free to email me at srebello, R-E-B-E-L-L-O, 607 at gmail.com.